when the stars come out and the night falls, I'm going to take this BMW X5, effectively blindfolded, relying on only the latest night vision technology to guide my way. So before I get back to my epic drive, blind across Los Angeles, let's talk a little bit about this BMW X5. Of course, to move something this big, it does take a little bit of grunt, and that is where you know, the engine is magnificent. 4.4 liters, V8, turbocharged, 450 horsepower, 480 foot-pounds of torque. For me, the performance SUV like this is just way ahead of, of anything we could have once imagined. So, my producer, as you can see, has completely blacked out the front windscreen, rendering me actually uh, virtually blind for my trip across Los Angeles. <laughs> this is really a leap of confidence. Not in the car or the technology, in my ability to believe what my eyes are telling me. Well, I'm relying fully on the latest in night vision technology to allow me to <laughs> drive without being able to see anything other than what I pick up here on the center display. Oh, this will be cool, look. I think this, this is a tunnel. That is way cool. I can just about see the center line. Remember, it does rely on a heat signature and this tunnel's probably been cold for hours now. Um, whew, okay. Now, the story obviously begins right at the front of the car with the night vision thermal camera. You can see those magnificent old trees sort of rising up. What it's doing is detecting and identifying temperature differences. And they do that at up to a tenth of a degree, which is why I'm able to see the difference between the branches of the trees from the leaves of the trees and the road markings from the curbing. I mean, it's really quite extraordinary. What's that then? Oh my God, it's bloody deer. Whew. All right, this X5 is actually the first SUV in the world to come equipped with the night vision animal detection system, which as that uh, potential threat, person, horse, dog, whatever, gets closer based on quite a complex algorithm, the car's speed, steering input, the size of the object, uh, the direction of travel, it, it calculates whether or not it's actually going to be a risk. It's so tough coming down through these quite tight streets. And of course, I'm able to pick up. Oh, there's a motorbike over there. That's really cool. Oh, okay. Oh, look at that girl right out by the road. Wow. All right, look these streets. Come on, look at that, is that a skateboarder? How wild is that? All right, so now I've come down off the Griffith Observatory Road, which was effectively like a, a private road, even though there's traffic on it. Up ahead of me, you can actually see, I do have uh, a motorcycle police officer. I have two of them who are accompanying me. Okay. Oh no, that's the freeway. Look at that, you can so clearly see it. That is the 101. This will be a test. Okay, I'm gonna use my side windows here because I need all the, gotta be safe, I gotta be prudent, I can't be crazy. I think I'm doing all right, right? How fast am I going? 60 miles an hour. <laughs> Oh, look, as I come down this street, oh, there's someone on the edge. Oh, that's amazing. Look at it. It's a girl with a dog. That's hysterical. But that was way easy to see her when that was there. <laughs> Did you see that? Only in LA. Staples Center. And here we are, we're pulling up very close to the Staples Center. 